All right, we're back, 6.15, all four of us. Because Todd's learning how to cook this morning. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> I'm going to try. This is going to be scary, guys. Really scary. Uh, we're live at Roy's this morning in Auburn, right on Route 4. You know the spot, you go by it as you're going northbound up towards Turner. Um, I'm not dressed for cooking, so I've got to put the apron on. And Ivy's going to give me a hand with the tie, right? Uh, yeah. You got that, Ivy? Uh, Ivy's not an owner, but she keeps this kitchen running. And she's been doing it for like 15 plus years. In fact, actually, you started in, in April of, of uh, 2000, right? Yes. Yeah, and I started at Channel 6 in April and Channel 2 in April of 2000. So we started our respective careers basically at the same time. We're doing crepes this morning. Yes, we are. You guys are kind of famous for this. Monday's the day you cook them. Yes. All right, show me what to do, and then I'll try it. Well, first you have your batter. Yep. You got the batter. Left hand, right? Left hand, it's a little tricky. Okay. If you're not left handed. Yep. And then you Straight give it a little swirl. You swirl it out. All right. All right. Can I give it a shot? And then you sure can. All right, let's give this a shot. My pour. Probably not quite so big. Not as big, not okay. Not quite as big. That's about the right size. Okay. Put that down. A little center swirl out. from the center out. Yeah. Oh. A yeah. Nice, gentle touch. Okay. I'm going to have a, a baby's bottom. Ah, a baby's bottom. Yeah, that's the best way I can explain it's it. It's been seven, eight years since I touched my little guys. I'm sorry. Changing <laughs> diapers and all that kind of stuff. All right, next up, after this is cooking for a few minutes, Ivy, we got to do the flip, right? Yes, we do. All right, let's show, show me how I would do the flip. You have to unstick it from the bottom and just flip it over. Unstick from the bottom yes, and then a flip over. Yep, All right, and then the fold. How yep, about the fold? You have to let it sit a little bit, though, let it cook on that side. Okay. Well, they're already done, so show me the fold part. Flip it back over. Yeah, okay. One, two. two. All right, so flip back over. Uh, you, you didn't go. see that. Did you guys at home? Oh, you did. One, two. Perfect. All right. And you take them off. And, and then we take them tray. off. We lay them here on the tray. And then you plate them a little bit, right? Yes, we do. You do three. Yes, we do. Three, three per order. Three per order, per order crepes. And you've got this awesome, like, strawberry sauce you do, too. Yes. It's nice and warm. And you just go right down the line, right? That's correct, sir. Ooh, that looks good. And there you go, folks. That's crepes, Roy style, or maybe Ivy style. <laughs> there you go. Uh, not bad for my first time. The best part's going to be eating that, obviously. All right, let's uh, let's get to graphics. Let's get to some weather. Cold day, really cold day. Temperatures this morning, they're in the 30s and 20s. Wind chills, though, are going to be a lot colder. And you can see the numbers right there. Now on the weather map. We've got high pressure working in. So the sun is back today, but it's going to be really blustery. Warmer temperatures arrive tomorrow, though. This morning, pretty sunrise. Be careful for one or two icy spots. I don't expect many, but just a couple. Many. Sun and clouds, middle of the day, really windy, with gusts over 30 miles per hour today. Another really windy one. We've had this windy stretch. Getting kind of tired of it. I don't know about you. That wind stays active through the evening with clear skies. High temps today, mid-30s in Portland, mid-30s in Lewis and Auburn, right here at Roy's, too. And then for eastern Maine, they're going to be in the low to mid-30s. Tomorrow, warm front passes. We get a big temp swing. Temperatures rise to 50-plus. Feeling so much better tomorrow. And then on Wednesday, a little sneaky low is going to form off the mid-Atlantic, and moisture is going to ride up along the front. I expect some rain now, Wednesday. Chilly raindrops. Very little snow, though. Only confined to the highest elevations. Dry for Thanksgiving Day, but a little on the cold side for the turkey trots especially. Only in the 20s for any 5Ks you'll be doing on Thanksgiving. I won't be one. I'll be playing some football and then eating a lot of food. Marine forecast, gale warnings are up. Gusts to 40 knots out of the northwest, folks. Seven-day forecast, there it is. Today's the coldest. Temps in the 30s. And then we get a little milder for the rest of the week. And the only real trouble spot will be on Wednesday. And I realize that's a big travel day on Wednesday. But that's really the only day that we're going to have a lot of rain or any kind of precipitation. Back on camera, here are my crepes set I made. I need a fork. Have you got a fork? <laughs> fork! Fork! You don't need fork. a fork. Just Here we go. Hey, can you hold that tight? There we go. Let's see. There we go. <laughs> that is a big Oh, break. I forgot the whipped cream. Yeah. Oh, that's good. <laughs> that's really good. Yeah. Strawberry sauce makes it, and so does the whipped cream. There uh, we go. <laughs> oh, yeah, plenty Todd of whipped cream. Uh, a <laughs> very happy man this morning. All right.